Hey yo, Ghost here, Dave here, with a Destiny video showing off a weapon that's kind of slept on right now, and pretty much always, and that is the Prospector. So first we're going to go over my general loadout. I'm rocking a Voidwalker Warlock, and no I'm not Devour, I don't Devour shit. Rocking with transversive steps, again, like not currency, and I'm not about that uh, instant health regen, but I do rock the 10 recovery stat, 4 resilience, 3 mobility. And while this clip specifically might be from the time to kill update showing off the gameplay footage of this one and probably my next video are actually both going to be from right before it, literally the day before the time to kill update, which oh boy, did that change the prospector a lot in in a good and bad way. I would say overall it's mostly bad. But in general, I think this is a lovely weapon. I think it's going to be great once it gets the catalyst. Because that catalyst triples the explosive size from a 20 to a 60 stat. And they got generically buffed in the time to kill update as well. You know, if you're one of my friends in real life or even online, you know that I have not shut up to talking about this thing. And I've annoyed the absolute hell out of everyone who's tried to talk Destiny with me. Because the second you say it, I'm talking about the Prospector, baby. Because this thing is insane. So we're actually going to jump right into the gameplay right now. Starting off when I'm living the heavy, not much has happened, I haven't died yet. And I'm instantly going to go down mid and midtown, you know, as you do. I see the other heavies up, and I'm thinking about the glory that would be if I could load that as well. Instead, I head over to B, I lob some shots, they're going to walk into them, I'm telling you. I lob down on heavy, they're going to walk into them, I'm telling you. Setting traps with this thing is so good. Look, one kill, that's on B. Waiting at the power, and bam, another kill. I set down another trap because I think I saw someone on the radar that way. And I'm flanking around so I can make sure to get the advantage here. Pop, pop another kill. Go to load heavy and turn around because I'm being pursued. Got another kill. I'm loading heavy, and that's the problem. I spent so much time playing heavy that uh, kind of forgot. So, you know, that I have other guns and that I die if I get shot at myself. So, heading back up. About to be cycling this 15 seconds. Easy to come back to. Easy to load the heavy there. Decided to head down because that heavy has still not been picked up and I'm thinking about it. But I see on the radar there are people that way. Throw a grenade to scare them off. And I head right back and I pray I don't die here or that a teammate takes my beautiful heavy for my prospector. Going on mid, which is always fair. Going towards B because I see people this way. Lob a shot. And here they come, right down the hallway, free kills, two for one, baby, you're so right, Jax. Heal up just to make sure I live, get the power that I inevitably got back. Head up here, and I'm like, oh man, they're right here, I'm gonna lob. I think I hit a teammate with that shot, and I get the annoying level up into a Graviton Lance death. So at this point, you're thinking, why show the lot out if you're only using the Prospector? Well, believe it or not, but I do have other guns. See, I'm shooting one right here, and it's the scale lock, and it is by far one of my favorite auto rifles. But we're not here to talk about the scale lock. They're over on C, and I would totally push this if I didn't see the heavy was up in, uh, you guessed it, 15 seconds. Cycling heavy is so easy to do, honestly, with the minute timer. And here we have a, a melee no reg that still baffles me. Luckily, I spawned right in time to head over straight to heavy. I see that B is being capped, so I'm going to push that immediately. <laughs> Able to snag one kill, snag the double. But I'm in a bad spot, can't really peek it, can't really push and cap, which is very important. Still going to head in, going to lay some traps for people to potentially walk into and for it to be a free kill. Going to wait to see if they push right down the hallway, which is a horrible idea. But nobody told him, nobody told him it was a bad idea and he followed his gut. Grab another kill, and grab another. Oh, baby, a triple. Go down the healing rift, because I'm afraid, dude. I don't want to die. I only have one grenade, but it's still one grenade. Stop that so they can't push down that hallway. Goes off, burns someone to death. Just playing on the defensive here. We want to hold B. Grenade's getting ticks and ticks, but nobody's shooting at him, so he lives. Head back up, and oh, guess that, wow, the power is right here once again. Super close kill with Scave Lock, and it's another almost kill. There's a dude chasing him with Hammer of Soul, so I assume he's going to get him. And, uh, spoiler alert, he's actually not going to. And I die here because with the Prospector, you want to be lobbing in at people's feet. Because if you go for the direct hits, you go for the chance that it's going to go over them, and it's still a two-shot with directs hits. It is sadly not one of the grenade launchers lucky enough to be a one-shot, but it loads eight grenades, so of course it's not a one-shot. 
and wait a second. I got my power ammo back. Now that's sick. So obviously I see they're out here. You see they're on A, but A is a bad spot to be with a grenade launcher. You want to try not be out in the open because it is so much easier to hit scan you down than to fire projectiles. So we're going to cap A because I realize we're about to get power played. And I think one other person on my team realized it as well. Everyone else is going for those kills because everyone's about those kills. Here, Hammer of Soul Pop. I hear it around this way, so I'm going to go get him. And I'm going to hit him with the Nova Bomb. Never mind, I missed. That one still hurts me. It's like, I'm using Slova Bomb. It's supposed to track, and you know what it doesn't do? Track. I'm gonna get a pick here, but I'm around the corner. I see heavies up, I want heavy desperately. And my thought process, it's panicking, man. It's, oh man, there's people, I need to kill them before they can get my heavy, but I have to play safe and not die. So, after regenerating my health here, I'm like, okay, I gotta grenade it, I gotta do it. He's gonna try and load heavy, and he is smart enough to not just go right for the heavy. And I know have my grenade as they're pushing around the corner. They're pushing me in a group, and my tracking's a little bit off, so I end up getting picked off you here. Have advantage. You're falling behind. However, we have people trying to la lane me, and under pressure activates. And I'm sorry to inform you, but uh, this thing's a laser, and uh, I inevitably get quick fang because I assumed he'd be out of ammo after the flurry of swings, and uh, the answer was no. No, he's not. But the great spawns Destiny has. I spawn right into getting a free kill. They're gonna try and take A. It's not gonna happen. This thing's a fucking laser. I love it so much. Grab another kill with the hip fire. Thank you, Bloom. Because my crosshair was not directly over him. I see that their heavy's up and I want to push it. However, should probably just play B. Gonna get one kill here. Gonna play it safe here. A dude just completely ignoring me. Would rather kill my teammate, and he doesn't even get to kill my teammate. So here, I hear Golden Gun pop, I see him being shot at, and I'm like, I want the heavy, I am running. Golden Gun is right here on me, I'm gonna trust that my teammate can deal with him for a moment, and I got greedy and tried to load the heavy, but it don't matter, baby, because we got Scathelock to carry our asses. Eight more grenades, I'm heading towards B. Easy team wipe, I think. However, get one kill, the other one's burning, however, we have no pressure besides my own burn going to healing rift here then I'm gonna lob shots across the point because even though I miss them they're all over the point they have to be thinking about every single movement they make right now and while they weren't and the grenades go off sadly he was not the one affected he does not burn here and he's gonna be able to sit back there probably healing rift kill one who walked into a grenade right there beautiful it's just such a good weapon for zoning and that's why I really loved it is zone denial Zone Denial in every game is super big, which is part of the non slova bomb Nova Bomb's purpose. And this dude goes to the Phoenix Dive right into my bullets, so sorry about that, man. And here, here there is an Arc Staff. And sadly enough for this Arc Staff, there is a hammer. Rage is an excellent motivator. I got greedy once again, but I went silent there so you could hear one of my favorite Shaq's voice lines of all times, which is, who said warlocks are better with books than with guns? Oh wait, it was me! I lied. It's hilarious. Here we're gonna suicide for the three-man Slova Bomb, which is the best you can do it for. A double? Great. A solo? Fine. A triple? Oh baby, a triple! I'm gonna continue defending B here. This game has been really good for me, but it's, I'm noticing it's a little bit close, and I'm wondering, oh, okay, it's prob we're probably just bad zone, right? Well, once again, there's a little bit more to that that you'll see in a bit. It's been a fat minute since I've had heavy ammo. However, I still have a laser on my side, not Cold Heart, not Prometheus Lens. We're talking about the Kinetic Laser, scale Lock, and I get killed around the corner by a Grab Lance. However, I spawned right here, and that heavy's about to be up, so it's time. Good. I see their heavies up as well, and I'm thinking in my head, like, man, I want it. But I'm, I'm gonna play in the air. And two left. hammer of soul pops for me. Two hammer of souls, man. I am feeling famous, and I go, no, 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 I got this. I kill one of them with grenades 
and I set down another trap, and he walks into it, into a direct hit, and I'm trying to fire, but I don't got no ammo. But it doesn't matter, I have a fist, and I have a way. So shut down two Hammer of Souls at the Prospector, because they're on fire, they don't see the fire, they're gonna run right into it. I almost get solo rocketed, there's an arc staff, kinda. I'm focused on this arc staff here. I, I feel like I need to kill the arc staff, and because of that, Z gets the drop on me with an SMG, and he's easily... I lied. That was a scathe lock, and I'm just noticing it. That's beautiful. Scathe lock is an amazing weapon. Easy kill here, dude out of position. We take those, and with 11 seconds left, I'm like, I can get a power ammo kill. I know it. There's a couple seconds, I can do this. I run mid frantically, and the gods answer. And that's the last kill, and that's all she wrote. And right here, just for insult, a sick air shot with the prospector. And after this whole game, for some reason, it was scarily close. But it's now that I realize that I had five lead weights tied around my ankles. Only two people with 1.0 efficiencies. And I have 41 elims opposed to 15. Now that's a GG.